The search for an abalone fisherman missing off the coast near Yanchip has been called off. As Amelia Bruin reports, the Department of Fisheries will now prepare a report for the government following the horror start to this year's abalone season. The frantic search for the missing Malaysian man resumed at first light this morning. Conditions still treacherous. We've still got the regular squalls and the storm fronts coming through here, which obviously is affecting uh, the search area and the conditions for the, uh, the searches. The first day of the abalone season yesterday was one of the worst in WA history. At least 17 people rescued at Mullaloo, Burns Beach and Yanchep. There are now calls for the state government to cancel abalone fishing if conditions are deemed too dangerous. So when we put our signs up, it doesn't have the same effect. As, as what could be in effect if we were using fisheries legislation. Mr Heasters is also calling on compulsory water safety training for anyone seeking an abalone licence. Well, most abalone fishermen don't have the knowledge or skills to, to conduct an accurate risk assessment of, of the activity they're about to do. And so we need to look at ways of educating them. The Department of Fisheries will now prepare advice for the government on any action that should be taken regarding recreational abalone fishing in the metro area. Officers are having difficulty identifying the missing man. No car or belongings were left behind at the beach and no friends or family have contacted police. The man's 29-year-old friend, who was one of four people taken to hospital, has now been detained by the Department of Immigration for overstaying his visa and is facing imminent deportation. The search at Yanchep was suspended this afternoon due to rough conditions. Amelia Brune, 10 News.